a new twist in the free will debate. Today, we're tackling a contentious issue. The question of free will. Do we consciously make our own decisions, or are our actions the result of unconscious brain processes? This debate traces its roots to the groundbreaking electroencephalographic EEG, experiments by neuroscientist Benjamin Libet in the 70s and 80s. Libet's work suggested that, before we're even aware of an intention to perform a movement, our brains emit EEG activity predicting that movement. This led to a shocking conclusion, perhaps our actions are simply the result of unconscious physiological processes in the brain. Libet's experiments even suggested that a decision could be predicted using brain activity 6 to 10 seconds before a person was conscious of making it. The question arises, do we truly have free will? New research is now challenging this paradigm. The findings indicate that the timing of intention awareness in Libet's experiments might have been miscalculated. And what's more, the EEG activity that signaled decision readiness in Libet's studies doesn't directly link to the actual decision. In Libet's experiments, participants were asked to bend their wrists randomly and recall when they felt the intention to do so. The moment of final decision was then determined by a sensor reading on the participant's wrist. But, when the neuroscientists modified the experiment, they found an interesting deviation. The researchers found that the subject's ability to discern their intentions could be influenced by the experimental procedures themselves. It seemed the Libet's experiment setup may lead subjects to believe that their intention occurs far earlier than the final decision to act. Moreover, they found that the so-called readiness potential, the brain activity preceding an action, didn't directly link to the intention to perform the action. This readiness potential seems to reflect the overall dynamics of the decision-making process rather than the formation of the intention to act. The new study highlights the ambiguity of Libet's research and proves the absence of a direct correlation between the brain signal and decision-making. The classical Libet paradigm is not suitable for answering the question of whether we have free will while making decisions. We need to be especially precise to draw conclusions that affect our outlook and attitude to life. This research has not closed the issue of the illusory nature of our free will but has emphasized that the discussion continues. The mystery of free will and decision-making continues to keep us pondering. Is our free will truly free? That's something we'll keep exploring. Remember to like and subscribe for more neuroscience news updates.